Hi there, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a flyer using a program called Adobe Comp CC. This is part of the Adobe Suite package. Um, it's a free app that you can get from the App Store and this is really meant to be a comping tool to lay out um, brochures or postcards and things and, and then export them into the other Adobe programs like Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator and what have you. But I use this tool to actually create finished flyers and that's how I'm going to show you how to do that today. So let's open up the program and you can see these are the, some recent pro, um, projects I've done. You can use this uh, program for designing anything from emails to uh, postcards, uh, banners, uh, anything you want, uh, letterheads, stationery, so even print ads. So, so to get started what you would do is you hit the little purple plus sign in the lower right hand corner and it gives you some predefined sizes that you can use and today we're just going to use a letter. So on the left side I'm going to hit print letter 8.5 by 11 I just tap on that and now I have a blank document. Okay, sorry, I thought it stopped recording on me. So, um, so the first thing you got to do is you have to go and collect your assets, find your text and the images that you're going to use. And so for today's example, I'm going to open up, oh no, not Acrobat. I'm going to open up this program and uh, I'm just going to use this brochure to extract content from. I've already saved the images from here onto my iPad to save time. So if I wanted to create some, get the text, I just highlight the text with my finger. Come on, there you go, and hit copy. And the way this program works, Again, um, the way it works is uh, to create some text. You just you can just draw a line with a dot, and that creates like a large headline text. If you wanted to create a picture box, you draw a box and you put an X in it, and it creates a picture box. If you wanted a paragraph, you draw a couple lines and you put a little dot, and it creates a paragraph text. Isn't that crazy? And from here, you can even hit that little up and down slider and increase and decrease the font. You can lay things out. And so for example, if I wanted this to be centered on the page, and there's the guides. I know that's centered on the page um, on the bottom of the screen. There's some alignment tools and text formatting tools. And so since I copied the headline, so let's just actually double tap in that box and hit the paste button. And now I can go back to that text formatting tool on the bottom with the T and I can change the layout change the font let's see let's go with something condensed and I can make the font size smaller something like that that's fine and here's a picture box, which you can just resize really nice and easy and quick. Okay. And then notice that on the bottom when the picture box is highlighted, I can click on the picture tool and I can choose to use an image that's on my iPad. So I can click and choose and bring in a photo. There it is. So let's go back to this program and grab some body text. There it is and hit copy and go back up and go back here and double tap in here and hit paste. And there's the paragraph and again I can double tap. And I can bring this down make it 11 points. Let's take a look. Okay that's fine. Come on, I can move it where I want it. And um, let's say if I wanted to open up the spacing on that, the letting, you can hit the typing tool, hit spacing, and here's line spacing. And I can actually 
drag to open up the letting. Isn't that nice? And let's see. If I wanted to add some more photos, let's say I wanted to bring in a couple more pictures, I could draw another picture box, and that gives me a picture box. And using the tool in the lower right corner, if I hit that menu, I can actually duplicate that box. And I'm going to duplicate it one more time, and now I have three picture boxes, all exactly the same size, which I can now choose to. Um, layout. Now if I wanted to align these things, what you can do with two fingers, you can tap and highlight all of them. Oops. Tap, tap. Come on. Tap and tap. So I got them all. And now on the bottom, the middle button is an alignment tool. So I can choose to align this to the left and distribute the height. You see that? There they are. And now if I want to bring in pictures, I tap on it, hit the picture button, Choose a picture on my device, camera roll, choose a picture. There's one, bump, bump, two, and one more, three. And there, there they are. And I guess the last step is to bring in a logo, so why not? Um, so let's bring in another picture box and choose picture on my device, camera roll, and let's grab a logo. Um, well, we'll take that one. And there it is. You just drag that right in there, and then you move it over to the side. So, as you can see, I use this app to actually design a real finished product. It's not just a comping tool, it's actually a real um, physical document that I can now create a PDF and email this or print it out and any in-house printer will print this just fine a laser printer and I'll show you how to do that so hitting the export button on the top shows you all of the applications that you can export this to and I choose share PDF so it creates a PDF and just to show you I'm going to use this um, PDF expert app and it's going to open up and you can see the quality. Look how crisp and clear the images are, how crisp and clear the text is. So you can even send this out. When I want design postcards, I actually use this. I send it out to a commercial printer and it comes out just fine. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section. And I look forward to uh, sharing another video soon. Take care.